I'm Trent Pepper, I'm the diesel instructor here at Northeast Tech. Uh, I've been here for right at 22 years. This is going in my 23rd year of teaching. Uh, we're in this new shop here. We've been here about six years. Kind of a day in the life of a student here. Uh, a student shows up at 8.30 or 12.30. It's a three hour program. We spend about an hour in the classroom and then we go right into about two hours worth of shop work. That shop work includes ha all hands on. I'm all about getting greasy. I'm all about learning with the hands. The second semester of my second year students, they're eligible for OJT. Some of them call them apprenticeship. apprenticeship. Some people call it OJT, but basically it's on the job training where up to four days a week, my students can go out and work for Cummins, Cat, John Deere, a local, the county, somewhere that they're getting some type of experience out there. I plan on starting my own shop, being an all women's shop. Most women are not comfortable being in a shop full of men. To definitely go, it's a jump start on your career. It looks good on your resume. Just, it's probably the best thing to do. You know, one of my students that I've had several years ago was one of the lead agriculture designers for John Deere. So this, this program is all about a stepping stone, about just because you come to this program doesn't mean that you have to be a diesel mechanic the rest of your life. What this means is, is you are interested in this field and you're ready to take your education to the next step further. Whether it's dealer training, whether it's in the military, you may want to go to OSU in bioengineering. That's great because in bioengineering, you need to know what a 9 16 wrench is. So this is an excellent place to, to get your start and to figure out, I do like this, or more importantly, I don't like this.